Alex sits back, baby! Woo! Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the final Bomber game reaction of the regular season. And boy, it was a bit of an interesting game. I'm not gonna lie, there were parts of this that was slow, but the part that, the, the, the main thing that is interesting about this game is who we got back. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. But first, I want you to have some words from our beautiful sponsor. Do you hate when you can't find your preferred sports betting site? Bet 99! Bet 99! Caramba! Caramba! Spreads! This doesn't look like cool bets! Bet way! Bet way! Ah, it's a spider! Well, that is a problem no longer. With that stamp, you have access to all your favorite betting websites all on one platform. Just pick the game and select the best money line to ensure you make the most for every bet you make. To take advantage of this extraordinary opportunity, make sure you download BetStamp from the App Store or use the link in the description below and use referral code NHP to let them know you're coming from us and you're saving money. Now, without further ado, let's get back to the video. Yes, make sure to check out BetStamp. This is, um, there are... I, I, I have a lot of great things to say about them. I've used the service myself. It's great. It's legit. It works. And honestly, it's really good for keeping all your stuff organized. If you know, if you have, you can link up your accounts from other things all through there. And so you can run everything just on one platform. It's just overall uh, great from personal experience. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into this game. So pregame, quite a lot. We got Wallatarski back. I was not, I was not expecting him uh, to be back from injury. So it's nice to see that he is fully recovered and he's back in. Caleros is starting. Nathan O'Rourke is starting as well. So I was worried about that. I, I knew we were only, I knew he was only going to play for a quarter. I knew Caleros was only going to play for a quarter. But I was concerned simply because... Uh, I. It's been a while, I know, but I, I was, you know, Nathan O'Rourke, he's a damn good quarterback. So, you know, damn good quarterbacks find ways. Uh, but anyways, but for, wait, but is it, could it be the return of the king himself, Greg Ellingson, finally back in the lineup. He really gave us quite the start that we needed to this season, and I'm so glad that we were finally able to have him back in the lineup. It has been too long. I thought you meant Nathan O'Rourke. No. Ellingson. Ellingson. Put some respect on that man's name. We already said stuff about Nathan Rourke. Anyways, first quarter. We would have a good first drive here. Uh, BC really didn't get much going there. Uh, I expected a lot more uh, with Nathan Rourke, but he's been out for a while. He hasn't had the proper time to practice and get kind of reinvigorated back in the lineup, so that's all right. And you know what's even more all right? Dalton Schoen with the touchdown! It's 159.9. Oh, There's no lineup oh, at all. Oh, oh. Dalton Schoen continuing the streak of touchdown after touchdown after touchdown, game by game. It feels like it's been like 10 straight weeks where he's gotten at least one. It's absolutely insane. He holds the Bombers record for most touchdowns by a rookie. You know, we're... we're I love me some Dalton Schoen, but the convert would be good. 7 nothing Bombers. We would shut down the BC offense once again, straight in their tracks, go all the way back, and Rashid Bailey would get the second touchdown for the Bombers. Now that's a good pocket. Now that's a good pocket, but Kaleros got to do something with it. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Rashid Bailey, Bailey putting up quite the performance this past game against BC, making some really, really clutch catches, and he continues that here, getting the touchdown for the Bombers. Convert is good. 14-0 Winnipeg. Um, 
The BC would finally start to get going and push the field at least a bit, but the Bombers were good and would hold them to just a field goal. So it'd be 14 to three at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter, Vernon Adams Jr. is in. Rourke is out. Andrew Prukop is in. Caleros is out. So the starters out and the backups come in. So, and that's pretty much what I expected from this game. It would go back and forth a bit. And overall, it would kind of be a little bit slow. The rest of the game wasn't that big. Both teams' defense would be on pure shutdown mode at this time. And then there would be a big pass for Dalton Schoen, followed up by a field goal by Mark Leggio. Come on, Leggio. So the play would continue. Jefferson looks like he goes offside here, but it's actually a legal procedure. He blames it on them, and I thought it was just, you know, nothing there. Might as well blame it on the other team, see if something's there. But Jefferson's not wrong here. There is a legal procedure on the lines. Lineman moves his hand up. You can't do that. And there will be a procedure penalty against the Lions here, and BC would be forced to only get a field goal, making this 14-6 Bombers. Halftime goes through third quarter. It would go back and forth quite a bit. And then overall, it was pretty, it was a pretty even performance by both teams. You know, get a first down, drive a little bit, don't get the next one, punt. Rinse, repeat. Back and forth and back and forth. Happened a lot in the third, happened even more in the fourth, to be honest. And overall, it was a, a Overall, it was just a good good reps for your offense and defense of backup, so it is what it is. Um, Prukov did a really good job running the ball. Kind of reminded a little bit uh, of a Taylor Cornelius. Not as good as a Taylor Cornelius, but just in his style, it seemed very uh, similar to Cornelius' style. And Andrew Prukop would then get another touchdown. Touchdown! <laughs> Come on, throw to Willie! Throw to the... Andrew Prukop, his first touchdown of the game, and would put the Bombers up. Convert is good. 24-6, Winnipeg. BC would hit a field goal, making this then 24-9 for Winnipeg. Fourth quarter, BC early on would take a no-yards penalty. So, yay, that's good. Go it, it, And then, honestly, it would literally go back and forth like, like a game of tennis for the entire fourth quarter. And I literally wrote here, really boring quarter. There is, and, and that's honestly going to be where I leave it because there is nothing else to say about that court. It was really boring. <laughs> uh, boring by football standards, that is. Uh, but it, honestly, it is what it is. Bombers would walk away at the victory. I wasn't necessarily expecting that. I wasn't sure uh, if we would even play Caleros, even for that quarter, even if Rourke played. I wasn't sure that, I wasn't convinced that we'd even play in that quarter. But it's good uh, to, to give him a little bit of time in. He stays healthy, gets some reps. Overall, good thing for him. Uh, glad to see everybody in return from injury, both in the Lions and the Bombers. Sucks seeing guys injured in general. And overall, yeah, I'm just excited about, you know, to see if we're going to be playing BC or Calgary come playoffs. Uh, and I hope to win it, whatever that game is, and advance to the Great Cup game. I am so hyped for playoffs. Let me know if you guys are too in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this game. Make sure to check out my brother's video. Uh, the first Jets game in Mullet Arena. Absolutely glorious. Uh, <laughs> Mullet Arena, what a stupid name. I love it, but it's stupid. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and take care. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, this was also the game that Joe Poplowski got his number retired. It was in the Bombers Ring of Honor now. Congratulations to him. Bombers legend, and just nice to see. So yeah, check this out. The 14th person at the Ring of Honor. Congratulations, Joe. Now let's unveil that uh, nice banner. CFL, so for me to be recognized 
with these other greats this evening. It truly is a dream come true. So many people to thank. Starting with the Bomber organization, thank you for having the confidence and for bringing me to Winnipeg. To my teammates, it's due to your efforts that I'm here this evening. Thank you for those and for the good times we had. To my entire family, especially Darlene, thank you for your love and support. And to the fans, to all of you, thank you for your passion. You truly are the best fans in the CFL. And finally, to Coach O'Shea, all the coaches, and all the players, congratulations on back-to-back -back Grey Cups. Let's make it three in a row.